you believe it's homecoming week already? There's so much to do. Dance plans, dress up days, class competitions, skits and game day, and of course on Friday. The football game, of course. So let's get started with another edition of Your, Your Nightly, Nightly News. News. For the Nightly News, I'm Brody. For the Nightly News, I'm Ellie. Let's take a closer look. For the Nightly News, I'm Haley. For the Nightly News, I'm Penzi. For the Nightly News, I'm Cammy. For your Nightly News, I'm Elizabeth. For the Nightly News, I'm Tashani. Welcome to the second edition of the Nightly News with a story about football. I'm Tashani. And I'm Haley. But before we get to football, let's begin with the cross country crew. Cross country's kicking it into high gear as they've started their season off the right foot. Let's take a closer look and see how they've come so far. I'm here with senior cross country runner Mason Stoger. So Mason, as a cross country runner, how has cross country changed over the years? Well, you see, when I first joined the cross country team, we didn't have COVID, so we were so used to just coming in every day expecting to have a season. And then with last year, having the COVID season, we were just thankful that the season happened. And this year it's kind of the same thing because, I mean, you never know when the season's going to get canceled or if the cor or if quarantines are going to happen. So we're just trying to – it's just changed of how much more thankful we are to have the season. And, yeah. As a senior, how do you feel about it being your last season in cross country? Um, well, as a senior, I just I want to make the most of every moment, and ultimately, my goal is to place top five in state, and everyone else has their own goals. And I mean, you just got to make the most of every moment, and that's just the plan this year, and enjoy every moment. What's been your favorite uh, memory in cross country? My favorite memory overall has been going to state my junior year and pretty much just hanging out with the team every day. Meet, bigger meets are always fun because you meet new people and you're with your team for a longer period of time and those are just fun, just spending more time and the camaraderie builds up and that will be fun and hope to make more memories this year. Thank you. I'm here with sophomore cross country runner Claire Phillips. So Claire, how has the girls cross country team changed? in your time as a runner? There's been lots more girls that have gone out. We have 10 this year, and like last year we had five. Uh, how are you enjoying this season compared to last year? We can do more things and we don't have to wear our masks as much, and we can, there's more opportunities and more meets that we can go to. What expectations do you have for the girls team this year? that we all go to sectionals and we all qualify for regionals as a team. Thank you. I'm here with freshman Caleb Crystal. Caleb, how are you enjoying your season so far? I'm enjoying it. Um, I think the people are really inviting as well, so that helps it. What kind of goals do you have for this season and any upcoming season? Um, this season I want to break 20. I'm trying to do that relatively soon. And for seasons to come, I do want to be a captain eventually. What do you think is the hardest part about being a cross country runner? Running by yourself and not having people to talk to because the people are the best part about it. Thank you. That's all on cross country for now. For the Nightly News, I'm Cammie. The team has had a lot of great placings in PR so far. Good luck at regionals and sectionals. Volleyball and cross aren't the only sports going on in the fall. There's also football. The football team is back, and this year we have many new players. Let's take a closer look. So, Ethan, what's it like being one of the few seniors who have four years of experience under your belt? It's exciting, but it's also nerve-wracking. Um, got lots of younger guys looking up to me. So, being a senior with the experience that I have, I'm here to just show them all the ropes and just help them along the way. How are the bonds between the members of the team this year? We're all a very young team, but the bond that we have is actually very close and what you'd think. Um, having lots of freshmen and sophomore compared to the juniors and seniors, we are all, we're all super tight. Um, I mean, we all have big bonds that can't really break. Your motto this year is under construction, so how do you think the rebuild's going? 
The rebuild's going to be a process. Um, we got lots of freshmen who are starting, lots of sophomores that are starting, and lots of them haven't even played football before in their lives. So the rebuild's going to be tough, but it's also going to be a process that everybody's just going to have to go with, and it should have a good outcome in the end. So, Logan, what's it like transferring from a big school to a smaller one? Uh, it was kind of interesting at first, uh, seeing how many kids were on the team, like in comparison. Uh, I have to play both sides of the ball, which I didn't do at community, so that's a difference. Logan, how are your relationships with all the team members? Uh, I'm, I'm older than most of them, so when like they try to ask for a ride, I try and give them one, and I try and look at them like my little brothers. Like I protect them if they ever need anything. I, I think we all have a pretty close bond. So Eddie, what's it like being a freshman that starts in a key role on varsity? It's, it's very exciting. It's also very nervous. I've been playing football all my life. Uh, any chance I can get to get on that field is very exciting, even in varsity. So yeah, it's, it's really fun. What's it like adapting to the change from JFL to high school football? So in JFL, there was a lot of stoppage of play. So like there wasn't really big hitting. But when you get to high school, especially varsity, it's, you, get, you get hit a lot and by big people so yeah it's it's kind of hard and it, people do hit a lot and they hit hard so yeah so jackson what's it like being a freshman on varsity uh, i think being a freshman on varsity is a great experience uh not only to me but to other freshmen and i think having that opportunity is a great thing to have jackson what are you most excited for this season i think the brotherhood and um all around becoming brothers is the best part of the season and I think that having that established will be a great thing to have. So Mr. Freeman, how did the graduation of last year's seniors impact the team this year? Well we had 19 of our 33 players from last season graduate and so losing two-thirds of your team is really impactful and in the spring we didn't have a JV season so we lost all but one player who had played any varsity football time so we had to replace 21 starters on our whole team so it's been a big adjustment and a lot of the kids that we have haven't had any experience so it's been a big learning curve and getting kids experience and a lot of practice time to put in the things we're trying to do how do you feel the new players are adjusting we have a lot of new players this year um, i think we started the year off with 18 or 19 kids who have never played high school football before that includes uh, 10 or 11 freshmen and you know we have some new seniors sophomores and juniors who have never played football before so just getting back to the basics and teaching them how to play football and how football works has been a bit of adjustment for the coaching staff, but we're doing a good job and we've started from ground zero of building up and trying to get everybody on the same page, whether you're you know, a fourth year player or a first year player. So it, it's been a really good process and if you've seen us on the field, you know we have a lot of kids who can play football now that really weren't able to you know, six months ago. We can't wait to see what the team accomplishes, but until then, that's all. For the Nightly News, I'm Ellie. I'm Shawnee. I'm Elizabeth. Best of luck in Friday's game against DMAC. As we said, it's homecoming week and we've got other things to get to. So we'll see you soon with another edition of Your Nightly News. Your Nightly News.